Hello and welcome to the video for what is flow control, the multi-gate node. I have a quick little example here. Every time I hit start, it will make my heart get darker until it is gone. But if I continue hitting start, nothing will happen. We are using the multi-gate node to kind of fake a little bit of animation here. So let's look at the multi-gate node. You can ignore most of the things that aren't connected. They are for examples in a little bit. The multi-gate gate node has an input execute wire, has an input reset wire, has an input variable bool called is random, an input bool called loop, and then the input start index. The reset wire, whenever it is fired off, will reset our gate back down to zero. If random is checked, one of these at random for our outputs will be chosen instead of in order. If loop is checked, Whenever this is fired, instead of getting all the way down to our end and stopping, it will reset it back to zero automatically. Start index is basically where it will start at in our gate once we fire it. By default, negative one indicates at the start, it's identical to zero. But if we wanted to start it at three, for example, we could type in three in the index. So how does our multi-gate node work? When you have an input, it will fire out in order, out one, and then finish. The next time it's fired, it will know it's already done zero and it will fire out the one. Then it will have one as the current. Next time it fires, it will do two and it will continue all the way down our list. Once it gets to the bottom, unless you reset it or you have it on a loop, it's done. Basically, you could have the setup for, we want to allow four people into our house and each time we're going to greet them separately or give them a different gift. So we want different output wires and we want to make sure it's unique. And then once it's done, it's done. Let me hook these wires up and I'll show a little bit of animation that I set up. Oh, sorry, that's supposed to be hooked into there. There we go. Okay, so now this time when I hit start, it's going to automatically cycle through the colors all the way down until it's done. That's it. What I did here is I simply set the color and opacity, set a delay, and then told it to go back to the gate, and the back to the gate fired it automatically. So I was able to cycle through over four seconds each of these four different states of the heart. Now, let's set it, let's unhook this, and let's go ahead and set it to random. We'll go ahead and hit play, and now when we hit start, you'll notice it went down to the 50%. If we do it again, hit start, oh, it went down to 75%. Start, went down to 25%. So random basically is choosing one of these random outputs. Now looping is nice because when I hook this up like this and hit loop and hit play, it's gonna cycle through all of our colors and then once it's done, instead of stopping, it will go back to the beginning. So we have an actually a really generic way of animating something by using the multi-gate and stepping through each of the frames of animation. That's it. Multigate's really nice if you want to have one input that can control multiple outputs in a controlled sequence of events.